Today, we're gonna make a sous vide out of this here crock pot. Stay tuned. Okay, so today we're gonna be making a crock pot sous vide cooker, um, hacking together this crock pot that we got from a local uh, secondhand store. Got some electronic components here and uh, a laptop, of course. And uh, my good friend Jamie here, he's gonna be the electrical expertise. All right, let's get cracking. Okay, so we're gonna put this back together because we took it apart and realized that there's not too much going on in here. So, Jamie, would you like to explain what we're gonna do here? Yeah, there's uh, there's no advanced temperature control system built in, so we're just simply gonna hack into the one, uh, 120 line bolt directly and we'll try and control the temperature just by turning it on and off using the, the main power line. Cool, so the plan is to use your secret black box. So we're gonna try to take this and adapt it for this. Okay, so what, what we got here is uh, a device that I was using for another project. Uh, I, was, I was attempting to make a, a temperature control for a barbecue smoker. Um, but we decided to hack it for this sous vide project. And what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna use this thermocouple to keep a accurate temperature reading of the water. And when it gets too hot, our relay is gonna turn off the crock pot and when it gets too cold, it's gonna turn it back on. And hopefully that'll keep a nice stable temperature. All You're the, the expert. So as you can see, my sister's a tattoo artist. I'll uh, link to her Instagram down below. Check her out. So up until now, we've been using low voltage Arduinos. We're gonna be using a relay to control a higher voltage appliance. So this is where we're gonna get dangerous. So if you're not comfortable doing this kind of stuff, don't do it. Find somebody to help you. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to learn some stuff along the way. So what we're gonna do is just uh, simply splice right into one of, one of these uh, 120 voltage lines and wire it into our relay module. And when the relay turns on, crock pot will get power and when it turns off it'll cool down. Okay so we've got a thermometer hooked up to an iPhone just to monitor the temperature so we can kind of gauge the water temp as we're going. So we've got this set to turn on at 140 degrees and turn off at 148. So as soon as I turn this unit on, uh, the relay should activate because the temperature is low right now and, and the crock pot should turn on and start heating up. There we go. Awesome. So we're gonna open up the lid and put in a couple eggs and uh, bring these to a nice soft boil in about 45 minutes. Okay, so the eggs didn't really turn out. Um, ultimately, we had to go into the Arduino code and adjust the temperature settings. Uh, but once we got that dialed in, um, we decided to move right to a steak. So here we go. What's the verdict? That is a very perfectly cooked steak. Such a, just a bloody plate. Alright, I think this crockpot sous vide project was a modest success. Um, there's going to be a few more modifications in the future. We ran into a little bit of temperature issues with uh, water circulation, so I think that's going to be something to fix next time. But overall, what do you think, Jamie? Uh, I, think we, uh, I think we did pretty good. Until next time!